guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a video on this cute bunny that I wanted to do for inspiration for Halloween. This is a really simple and easy idea to do if you have absolutely no idea what you want to be for Halloween. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and how I did it, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to apply some kind of primer. I decided to use my new Too Faced Cooling Matte Primer and I'm going to put this all over the face. And I decided to use this one because um, this one keeps my skin super matte and it's not going to make me oily. I feel like sometimes with Halloween makeup it can get a little oily with my oily skin. And then after that I'm going to go ahead and use my Peach peaches and cream to face foundation and I'm going to apply that all over my face and you can pretty much use any foundation that you normally use or maybe a new one um, I decided to use this one just because again it keeps my face super matte and it has really good coverage you do want to make sure you do have a good covering um, foundation because we want the skin to look very um, one tone um, and evenly and then after that I'm going to apply some concealer because I want my eyes to still look awake even though we are going to be a bunny um, I want to make sure that that is concealed and it's also as well highlighted so I'm going to put that underneath my eyes down the bridge of my nose and as well as on my forehead and then I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and blend that all out and then after that I'm going to go ahead and set everything and I'm going to be using my um, Peach Perfect Peaches and Cream uh, powder from Too Faced as well. I've been actually really loving this powder. Um, again, it just keeps my face super matte and it doesn't make my skin oily. And I'm actually going to set my under eye concealer with that as well. And then as well as apply it all over the face. I do like to um, kind of set my concealer with a beauty blender and the powder. And then the rest of my face I like to take a big fluffy brush like I'm doing now and this is the SLMS Glam Kabuki brush and then after that that is when I'm going to start um, with the um, bunny makeup so I'm actually taking this palette and I actually got this palette from Amazon and I'm going to just take that pink color and we are going to start sculpting out the eyebrows now when it comes to the eyebrows I do want to make sure that I am going to have enough color to cover up my actual eyebrow so what I'm doing here is I'm kind of drawing out the brow um, as underneath of my original brow and I'm going to kind of contour my nose area so I'm going to go ahead and go down with this product because it's going to kind of make you look like you have um, contoured nose but then it goes up to the brows and I'm kind of just going along my natural shape of my face and as well as underneath my natural brow. And then after that I'm going to be using this Makeup Geek Cosmetics eyeshadow in the color Cupcake and I'm going to put this all over my eyelids because I did want to have some kind of shade on my eyelids and I thought that this baby pink color looked really well with the rest of the makeup. So I'm going to just take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that all over the entire eye. And then after that I'm going to take another color and I'm going to blend that on top of that one as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some eyeliner. This is the Tartiste eyeliner and I love this eyeliner because it stays on for a really long time and it looks super matte and super black. So I am going to just go ahead and create a wing liner on both eyes and um, you guys will see in just a second how I'm going to uh, create the rest of the eye makeup. Um, but I'm just making sure that the eyeliner um, isn't too thick but isn't too thin. As you can see here, I did a normal kind of wing liner. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. So I do want to make sure I add some mascara on before I do go ahead and apply the lashes. And then after that, I'm going back to the palette and I'm going to take um, the same pink color and I'm going to kind of finish off the brows. And I'm going to go on top of my brow and then kind of fill it in. So kind of in a way, I'm going off my natural shape, but making them way thicker than I normally have them. And I'm going to fill that in a lot because we don't want our real um, brows to kind of show through that. I feel like I could have made this probably a little better by adding some scar wax and then adding some foundation right on top of it. I feel like it would have concealed it better. So if you do do this look, you might want to do that if you have um, a more pigmented brow color. Um, I feel like mine aren't really that bad so it really didn't show up too much. Um, after that I'm going to go ahead and take a Makeup Geek eyeshadow 
and I'm going to set my brows with this because I didn't want it to slide around during the day um, or while we are wearing this makeup. So I did go ahead and set the brows with the powder and it's pretty much the exact same color as the uh, cream shade that we used in our Halloween palette. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and throw some lashes on. You can pretty much use any lashes, but I recommend using the biggest lashes that you do have because it is going to make it um, more dramatic. And I just feel like they look really good with the um, hold look once you add the big lashes. Um, and then after that, I'm going to start with doing the rest of the eye. And I'm going to take the white shade that we have in our cream Halloween palette. And I'm going to kind of outline anywhere that we have pink. So as you guys can see, underneath the brows, I'm going to go kind of down the nose. And as well as on top of the brow as well. And I feel like this just creates a more of a fuzzy look on the bunny. So that is why I'm going to go ahead and line everything with the white. And I am going to go underneath the eye and then connect it kind of where the wing is and connect it up towards the brow and this is going to create more of the eye shape and then after that like I said I'm going to go on top of the brow and I'm going to create kind of hair like um, strokes and I'm going to make this more um, thicker with the white because I do want the white to be pigmented and not show through the pink. So as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and line the tops of the brows and then I'm going to go ahead and create the hairs on top of that. And I'm using a really small angled fine uh, brush from Estee Miss Glam to do so. I feel like if you use another brush, it might come out too thick. But with this, it just creates the um, nice hair strokes that we are going to do. So as you guys can see here, I'm just taking like small little motions and moving it back towards the rest of the brow and as you guys can see it creates kind of like a hair um, like effect and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay so now for the fun part I'm going to go ahead and do the nose and the rest of the mouth and everything. So right here I'm just going to go ahead and take the pink color and I'm going to kind of line just the bottom part of my nose and then I'm going to actually fill that in so this is going to go ahead and create the nose of the bunny. And I'm going to actually set this cream color with the same shade that we did use. It's um, the Makeup Creek Hot Pink Shadow. And I believe the shade is called Marlena. And I'm going to set the nose. That way this doesn't smear or move. Um, you do want to make sure you set all your creams because you don't want them to move throughout the day. And to create the lips, I'm going to go ahead and use that same pink color and I'm going to just line the top part of my lip because the bottom is going to be white. So you want to fill in the, just the top part because I feel like that makes the um, actual bunny of the mouth look better than just filling it all in pink. So I am just filling that in and then I'm going to go ahead and go back with that Marlena shade, that eyeshadow, and set the lips as well. So here is where we actually start to create the de details of the bunny. So I'm going to add two little lines on my nose. And that is going to look like our nose is kind of shiny. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a line around the nose. And then I'm going to just add like hair stripe motions um, around the nose just so it can look like the mouth and the nose is fuzzy. Um, and I'm going to do this very carefully because you don't want to get the white over your pink because then you're going to have to go back with your pink and redo your nose. So that's why I did go ahead and make a line first and then I just went ahead and um, made the other part kind of messy and faster. Um, so you can see right here I'm just going up and moving it side to side. That way I can create the hairs on the nose. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of do this um, all over the nose and anywhere that I see that um, is missing the white around the nose. And I'm going to kind of fill that in as well. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and start to do the mouth area. So I'm actually going to do the same thing that I did with the nose. I'm going to create the line around the top of the lip, and I'm going to fill in the bottom and then start going around the mouth. You can do this how big or has as small as you want around the mouth. I decided to go a little bit big, and you're kind of going to want to go in a circle. That way it can look more like a mouth. Um, and I decided to go kind of out because I feel like the more you go out, the more it looks like fur. Um, so I'm just kind of creating um, the 
hairs around the mouth. It's kind of like creating a mustache in a way, but just with white paint. Um, and you are going to do this very messy, if that makes sense, but still um, kind of making it look like your actual hair. And then after that, we're going to create more details of the mouth. I'm going to go down with some black, and I'm going to go from the tip of my nose to the cupid's bow of my lips, and I'm going to just create a small, thin line. And then after that, I'm going to add kind of like the whiskers, so I am going to just put little black dots around the two sides of the mouth, and then there you have it. You are done. So after that, you are completely done, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to leave your comments down below letting me know how you liked this tutorial and what other videos you guys would love to see during the month of Halloween or any other videos that you guys might have in mind for fall. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media to keep updated with me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Happy Halloween.